Hey, hello there, good evening and welcome as ever to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Ryan, we're here every Tuesday, have been for 11 years, I've never moved from this chair actually in 11 years, um, but <laughs> tonight we have got the most amazing cruises for you. We've got exclusive offers, we've got big savings, we've got... Uh, some nice little drinks packages to tempt you with as well. And guess who's back? He's been away for, I think it's four weeks, actually. Justin, not to say. miss me? Well, we've been all at sea without you. Oh, oh do you like that? Oh, well, don't worry. Now I You're am back. back to be your compass, your master <laughs> and your captain and steer you back on track. Listen, great to see you. See, honestly, we've, we've really missed you. So great to have you back. It's great to be back with such a great show tonight because we've got some great deals that are coming up. Yeah. One particular deal, if there's a very special occasion or you really want to push the boat out, excuse the pun. I know Crystal. the one you're talking about. In fact, um... Right, Justin, we're really, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be really honest, you just sound awful, that's all. I think it's your microphone, it's not you. So we're going to change it. We're going to change it. It's not you, it's this. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. 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 You've come back, you say, yeah, I know, I know, we're devastated. But while we change that, just for, <laughs> let's just also remind you that we would love you to register at planetcruise.com for this because some lucky viewer will win a cruise with GE Adventures. All you need to literally need to do is register all the reviews dot planetcruise.com. And I will let you know if you go to the website, um, you'll find all the deals tonight, but we can book you, don't forget, any cruise with any company, any destination, any length of cruise. Uh, we can have on hotel stays. So whatever you're looking for, you can do it of course with Planet Cruise. To give you uh, a little heads up of what's on tonight. Here's the website, by the way. So, yeah, do go on there. You'll see all the, uh, the great deals tonight, but we can find you literally any cruise with any company. And um, so I spend a lot of time on there just having a look and planning my next cruise. But let's see if he sounds any better. Justin, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, that's how beautiful. Hey? Beautiful. There we go. Back. It's good to be back. <laughs> the second time around. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like deja vu. It's like Groundhog Day. Listen, you sound great. You look great. And... <laughs> no, I know you're lying. Well, I, 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 <laughs> no, you do. He looks well. You look great. I've been judged. Um, you look very good, honestly. But we've got some amazing deals there, haven't the we? The one that I'm looking out for tonight is a, is a brand that we don't have on the show that often. And when we do, it's exceptional value. And tonight... I know the one you talk about. We talk about Crystal. And yeah. I cruise with Six Crystal. star. Yeah, but you cruised back in the day. Now she's been uh, reimagined. Yeah, so even more beautiful. Yeah, really yeah. something special tonight. Uh, we've got a great deal with Morella coming up as well, haven't we? Yeah, we've got cruise news <gasps> coming up as well. And if there's any Formula One fans, I've got something sneaky you for you as well. And I think one of the best deals we've had with Celebrity for an awful long time is that it's a repositioning cruise, so really quite rare as well. But we're going to begin, aren't we? Yes. Uh, with a lovely cruise with Fred Olsen, aren't we? Yeah, great value and a great British cruise liner, particularly this one where you're going for just seven nights is just the perfect getaway. Okay. Uh, and uh, you've even got, now, I thought this was a type of, hang on, that should say on board spend, but it's on shore spend. You even get mm. money to spend on your travels at the ports, don't you? Exactly, yeah, and that's 200 euros. Yes, there's up to 200 euros. But let's take you on board with the one and only Fred Olsen. The Fred Olsen Cruise Line fleet of much-loved ships, Black Watch, Braemar, Budokum and Balmoral, offer four different types of cruise holiday experiences, all with exceptional friendly service. You'll find a range of cabins and suites on board Fred Olsen ships, so there's a variety of different types of accommodation for you. The cabins are stylish, comfortable rooms which give off a very homely feel. All rooms are equipped with climate control, an interactive smart TV, hair dryer, desk, phone, fridge, which can be stocked as a mini bar, and tea and coffee making facilities as standard. Not only this, but each ship has a cabin steward or stewardess that will attend your room daily. Guests in ocean view rooms can enjoy the view from either a porthole or picture window. You can also enjoy a balcony room and make the most of your own outside space. The perfect place to sit back and soak up all the scenery and fresh sea air. There's also a variety of suites available. These are the ultimate experience. Dining on board a Fred Olsen cruise ship is one of the things I look forward to every day. There's something for everybody, from light and healthy salads to freshly caught seafood and of course many traditional British favourites. And there's a five course a la carte dinner 
When it comes to eating on a Fred Olsen cruise, there's so much choice and so much taste. Fred Olsen provide a wide assortment of activities. There's the guest speakers and performers, art and craft lessons and fun quizzes, along with yoga, pilates and much, much more. Not only this, there's also a chance to fully immerse yourself with the destination through one of the many rib-style explorer boats. Nighttime entertainment is a high point of any Fred Olsen cruise. When the lights go down, there's a selection of live shows, ranging from music and cabaret to quick-fire stand-up comedy. Just relax, sit back and enjoy the fabulous acts with your favourite tipple or cocktail. Following the show, you can stroll under the stars out on deck or dance the night away to tunes performed by your ship's resident band. And with the dance hosts, no one goes too long without a dance partner. The ship looks beautiful. I was on the Boudicca but quite a few years ago, and she mm. looks like she's been really refreshed since then, actually. Yeah, but she still kept that small ship feel, because, yeah. you know, she's under 30,000 tonnes. You've only got 900 passengers on there. So for those of you like, you know, not a fussy, not a busy place, just, you know, good quality and, and good people on board to share it with. I had a great time. I went on board with my mum. We had a lovely time, actually. Um, but we're going to be cruising out of Dover, aren't yes, we? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, somewhere so a little bit flying. different. And, uh, well, it's, it's good if, if, if you don't want to fly or if you can't fly. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Um, you're going over to Amsterdam, though, and this is, this is the great thing. You actually get two overnights on board on this particular cruise. Um, so it starts with your overnight on board to enjoy Amsterdam in the evening, and then in the daytime, you can really make the most of those windmills and those tulips, those wooden shoes, uh, and, of course, all the museums as well. Uh, you've got Anne Frank's Memorial there as well, the Van Gogh Museum, Rembrandt. Uh, the flower market, the canals, the cafes, the coffee shops. It's, just, it's a lovely place, isn't it? Yes. No, no. It really it, is. It's a fantastic place. It's a place I want to go back to. Yeah. And I, I actually had the pleasure of spending an evening there. And, you know, a lot of people, they say, you know, it is night and day in a port. It's a completely different feel. And one thing you've just got to look out for is the bicycles. Yeah. Because they're just everywhere. It's, it's a lot, just, yeah. they, they have a multi-story <laughs> car park. Just for bikes. It's a bike, yeah, it's a bicycle park. It's... Yeah. It's the bizarrest thing that I've ever seen, but there you go. Um, then we're off to Rotterdam. Now, Rotterdam, all being a very historic port, is a relatively quite a modern port because a lot of it was destroyed in the Second World War. Hence, you've got this wonderful mixture of architecture. There is one um, area which is uh, slightly older, and that's de definitely worth a, a look. Also, you've got the Hague and Royal Delft uh, and the Royal Palace as well, which is uh, two places I definitely uh, recommend. Then we're off to Ghent. Now, in medieval times, Ghent was only second to Paris in power and population, so this is a really, really important European destination. And this, I mean, the buildings wow, are just fantastic. Yeah. The waterways, again, it's all about those canal journeys. Um, and also, the historic centre is car-free, so it's great for those of you that want to have a little bit of a walk around. There's uh, a couple of lovely cathedrals, the St. Bavos and St. Nicholas's Church as well. Um, so, you know, go and see these great places. You know, you've got seven days to really enjoy these city breaks. Then we've got our second overnight on board, and this is in Antwerp. Uh, straight away, when you think of Antwerp, what do you think? You think of diamonds. It is one of the premier places on the planet, and look at those buildings, just rich with history. You've got churches, medieval guild houses, uh, back streets. It's just absolutely fantastic. One thing that I would definitely recommend here, and uh, waffles, Ooh. waffles. You name, yeah. you name the topping, and they've got it. It's just awesome, absolutely awesome. There's actually a, a little tea room, uh, Desaries de Lial. I don't know whether I pronounced it. That. <laughs> it sounded good. You wait. I've got yeah. a Japanese pronunciation oh, later, and that. I've been practicing that all night. <laughs> um, so, but no, it just just go for the waffles. Just enjoy it. And then you're going to be sailing back to Dover, and that ends your seven nights on God. board Fred Olsen. And again, just a great yeah. deal to start tonight's show with. Give us a call. We're open till ten o'clock tonight. Um, oh, and you're open all over Easter as well, aren't you? Yeah, we are open all over Easter. One thing that I would say on this one, apart from the fact that you get that two hundred euros on shore spend. If you want clarification on that, please pick up the phone and you can speak to our cruise specialist. But I've got to point out there is some great single specials. Depending on the itineraries and depending on the dates, um, do ask for those but, as well. But she really is a lovely ship. Say a little bit more intimate, as Justin said, only about 900 passengers um, and beautifully, I say, decorated. Just classic. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Uh, let's just show what's included on this one. Um, so the, um, the lead date there has a price of just six of nine. Uh, as we mentioned, up to 200 euros free on shore spend. So you actually get that money given to you to actually spend on shore. You're going to have those two overnights in Amsterdam and Antwerp there based on the lead date. Tips are included. 
if you go for the um, 18th of May and itineracies depend on departure day. Here's your prices, just to mention, really nice single price on this one, the 26th of September. Yeah. Um, but some lovely say, opportunities to upgrade to maybe an outside and a balcony there as well. So that's our first cruise, but while you were away, Justin, I went yeah. on the Morella cruise. Yes, your first one. Yeah, and I was telling you earlier, I Thoughts. absolutely loved it. I loved it. Great value. Um, I mean, we've always had great feedback from customers, to be fair, but great value, great food, great service, and just fun. You know, everyone's yeah. having a good time. Well, I love that. I can it. tell you now, I mean, straight away, the ships have been brought in from other cruise lines. They've been refreshed. And, you know, having the staff on board with that vibe, as you just pointed out, it just, it's a match made in heaven. But particularly the itinerary that we have tonight for yeah. Morella to be doing the Far East, it's this really is a biggie. Really good. Um, and I've got to mention, the entertainment was absolutely outstanding. So the best I've ever seen. But, yeah, to get, uh, uh, oh, actually, no, hang on. What's the most important thing as well about this cruise? Come on, Justin, you've been away for four weeks. What is it? Must be There's the two words. package. All inclusive. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but for 50 nights, that's, that's worth a lot of money, isn't it? It is for you, anyway. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, drink responsibly, children. I absolutely do. Um, but let's take them board and have a quick look. So we are on board the Morelli Discovery, which is an adult only ship, we should say, as well. Yeah. yeah. So adults only for this one as well. Yeah, and the thing is, on this particular ship, you've got almost 40% of the cabins come with a balcony. You've got an 800-seat theatre. Uh, you've got casino, spa, fitness area. You've got fantastic restaurants as well um, that cover a whole range of different cuisines. But it's where you're going to these fantastic oh. ports for such great value. I can't emphasise this enough. When you look at the cost of flights out to some of these regions... Um. This is why this is such a great deal. The value is absolutely incredible, actually, isn't it? Yeah, and you can actually book this one from as little as a pound uh, deposit per person. Terms and conditions apply, so just ask your cruise specialist when you book. Wow. Um, do you know, I didn't do the maths earlier, but I guess if you went on the 11th of December, would you, you'd, be, you'd be coming back... Well, it's Carol Day, Borderman you? when you need her. Well, you become um, a boxing episode if it's 15 nights. I thought you could ask me how much it was per night. Then. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's really good value. But, um, yeah. So you could even be away, say, over, you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. You know. save, all the, yeah. save all the hassle. Um, but it is all about the destination on this one as well. So oh. it's incredible. We, we fly you uh, from the UK over to Bangkok to start with, don't we? Yes, yeah, Salam Shebang. And this, well, you've got spirituality, you've got splendour, and then you have got some of the best noodles in the <laughs> world. Uh, now it is. It's, yeah. it's one of those cities, you know, an oriental city. You've got temples. You've got skyscrapers, you've got the Grand Palace. This is definitely one uh, to go and see, which is one of the most famed landmarks in, in uh, Bangkok, just on the banks of the river. Um, one place that I always wanted to get to and I never managed to was Jim Thompson's house. This is a, a legendary person in, him, in, in his own right, uh, but he's got a fantastic residence. Um, which is one of the largest teakwood buildings in the world. So, you know, you've got all of that to enjoy on that first day. And I, I'm saying, you know, you know going, going out to these parts of the world, the culture, the food, yeah. it's just fantastic. Um, then we're, we're off to our next port of call, which is Shannoxville. Now, the beach itself is just picturesque. This is actually off the Gulf of Thailand, and this is where you get just white sand beaches, you get great resorts. You, if you want to go snorkeling, scuba diving, uh, you know, I just imagine the seafood around here as well. So fresh, so good. And if you want to go and see some temples, there's a couple of really, really good temples here. Wat Krom and Wat Liu. Um, so this is the upper Wat, which actually overlooks the top of the mountains. It's, it's absolutely stunning. You've got a relaxing day at sea next, just to chill out and enjoy the actual ship itself. And then we're into Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, formerly known as Saigon, yeah, so this, this is the capital of the bicycle, and uh, we can go and see the Notre Dame Cathedral there if, if you wish, the Sea Goddess Shrine, shrine um, cruise along the Mekong if you want, there's plenty to see and do here. After that, another relaxing day at sea, and then we're into Malacca. Now, this is actually the uh, historical state, it's actually the third smallest state of Malaysia, so we're crossing the border now. And having worked with a lot of Malaysians over the last couple of years, they are just fantastic people. So kind, so yes. welcoming. And with this, you've got that, again, clash of culture because you've got the old school with the modern. You know, you've got fantastic buildings there. Um, staying in Malaysia, we're actually heading to the beach resort and one of the premier beach resorts next, which is Langkawi. 
Now, I've got a couple of friends that have stayed here for a couple of weeks and they just said it was absolutely amazing. You know when you just want to unplug oh, and you just want that. the beach? You don't want anything else apart from a cool drink, you know, uh, and just it just toes in the water. This is what we're talking of. Um, there's some great tools here. You can go on the mangrove cruise as well, which you can cruise through the twists and turns of one of the rivers. Um, I just I just think you're Indiana Jones, just just exploring. Uh, there's a cable car here as well, which is uh, is quite uh, interesting. And also one of the most prominent landmarks is Eagle Square, uh, which is near the jetty. So definitely go and see that one as well. You see the wonderful eagle there. Then we're off to Penang, staying with Malaysia. The, the legend has it that uh, the island was covered in mangrove and undergrowth, and to clear it, they fired a, can, a cannon full of gold coins out into the undergrowth and all the locals went out and they cleared oh, the undergrowth to find this, the gold yeah. coins. Yeah, so, so uh, you know, great look. I don't know whether it's true or not, but it's a great story. It sounds great, yeah. Um, and uh, there's a great butterfly farm here as well. There's over 100 species of butterfly. So if you want to do something just a little bit different, you know, then you're surprised. It's the you? softer side of you, though. It's the softer yeah, side, yeah. see? I, I went away and I've come back. <laughs> <laughs> Won't take me long to change. Uh, then we're into KL, we're into Kuala Lumpur, and this is actually the, the actual port that you're stopping is Port Klang. Kuala Lumpur, fantastic. I mean, you've got to go to Petronas Towers. The, the actual twin towers that you've got here, you've got the Skywalk in between, which you can go and see. There's great shopping facilities um, in the lower malls. There's the mosque there as well. Um, highly recommend it. Definitely book a tour in advance just because the transfer time is probably about 45 minutes depending on the traffic and it's worth going on an organized tour because you will see the best of Kuala Lumpur all in one day. Um, then a relaxing day, it's, uh, sorry not relaxing day, it's Singapore, Singapore, isn't Singapore. It? Yeah. Oh, well, one of my favorite places. If you were in overnight I would give you a list of restaurants that you would have to go to but unfortunately you're just there for the day. I know you love, um, the, you know, where, where was it you stopped I was in, in there for the day. Singapore. I know I was in there for the day as well. Yeah I know but you stopped there for the day and you stopped in one part, you didn't go into the main town. No I, I, just, went, I, went, I just went to the zoo, the big zoo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you've got to go to Marina Bay. Great shopping. Yeah. Honestly, great sights. You've got to go to Raffles Hotel and Singapore I, I Sling. Didn't have time. See the Anderson Bridge just in the background there. Oh, I want to go back, actually. I really want to go back. Go back. I'll give you a list. There's the Mer line as well. Half line and half fish. <laughs> you had to think that, didn't you? Half mermaid. <laughs> there you go. The Mer line. Uh, uh, and also the Gardens by the Bay. I would say the Gardens by the Bay is fantastic in the it, evening. Yeah. But yeah, but you can can still, yeah still go, go down there well. because they've got the indoor. Um, Britannica area where they've got literally hundreds of species of just amazing, if you love your flowers then you'll absolutely love that. Um, then you've got a relaxing day at sea and they're off to Koh Samui. What a wonderful way to finish I mean, I, 15 nights. I mean, I you're going to be so is, stressed out. I think that is the <laughs> That is one just of the... need a break. That's one of the, <laughs> the best Morella cruises I think we've ever had, isn't it? Just look and, at where yeah. you're going. Koh Samui, Singapore, and, Kuala Lumpur. And you've got to bear in mind, I'll say it again, it is all inclusive. So that's your, your drinks, your tips, your flights, mm. everything. Working out, you know, it works out about £800 a week, doesn't it, for that? Yeah. Which is incredible. And you get to see so much of the world on that one. Uh, it's Thailand, very, yeah. Malaysia, brilliant. Yeah, I'd I'd love it. I'm loving the new maps, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Just thought I'd give that positive feedback. Thank to you, you very much. Yeah, I worked hard on that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> now, thank you to our team that did those. Let's have a look at the ship, though, because, you know, she is the Merle Discovery. Um, absolutely beautiful, you know? You know, when you look at, say, all the facilities, you know, bear in mind, you, you know, you don't have to spend a penny really, everything's included, so you've got a big choice of bars and restaurants and great entertainment, great service and uh, just a great atmosphere with Morella, so I'm a, a big new fan of Morella and obviously you've got, um, say, some specialty restaurants on board as well that we're seeing there. But uh, she looks fantastic, doesn't she? Oh, absolutely yeah. fantastic. And, you know, good size as well. 69,000 tonnes, 2,500 passengers. Yeah. So kind of like mid-size. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, let's just show what's included. It's pretty much everything. I'm very tempted with this one. So it is, uh, it's all inclusive. And it is adult only as well. You know, much as we love our kids, sometimes on holiday, you know, you I really... don't love your kids. <laughs> right, got it. <laughs> <laughs> But, but it's adults only, uh, with all your tips included. Return flights based on London uh, and Birmingham, actually. So we've got both flights there, but we do have flights available from Manchester departing just a day later with a supplement. But uh, yeah, the lead uh, date there, flights from London and Birmingham. Price-wise, we've got 
The data, I'll let you know that I'm looking at, I'm looking at the January dates, but we've got dates all the way through December of this year and January, February, March next year. I think that's amazing and really um, affordable upgrades to outside balcony and even the suite as well. I think that's, yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. can only get better. Tonight's show is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I just, I said this, I'm just always thinking about, I just always want to book everything, but <laughs> we've got a little cheeky uh, MSC deal. This is one for you, Justin, this one, isn't it? Why are you saying that? Is well, it because it's, uh, yeah. it's three, stay, three night stay in Nice? Is I've, it a balcony upgrade? Uh, no, a little bit of Formula Uno. Yeah. Um, if you're a Formula One fan, Which or, you are, or, or the yeah. significant, I'm a massive fan, yeah. I'm, I'm lucky that I can travel to a lot of these races and see it. If you have ever wanted to go to see a race in the capital of glamour, um, the, the one of the, well, it's the crown jewel in, yeah. in Grand Prix, of it is. Monaco, or as we call it in the industry, Monaco. Monaco, Monaco. 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 You're going to get a chance to cruise with MSC. They've actually got F1 simulators on board some of oh, the ships have, as well. Yeah. So just check this on there. But you're going to be calling in to the port and having uh, general admission uh, race day tickets and escorted transfers. Now, this is just going to be phenomenal to have a wander around, go down to Raskas, and if you want to go and have a couple of drinks, perhaps go to Tip Top. So that's just up by the casino, just as you drop down and miss the little bump in Mirabeau <laughs> High, then down into the Fairmont Hairpin. Um, you know, you are walking quite literally the circuit of one of the most legendary uh, Grand Prix of, wow. of the whole calendar. So a great opportunity on this one. Also, great ports of call on the cruise as well. Rome, um, uh, Palma, Nice as well, Valencia, all of those included. Give us a call tonight and ask about details on that one because that one's yeah. going to be a popular choice. And that is for Balcony. You get a free Balcony upgrade tonight. The ID number 177403. But uh, a few years ago, I was very lucky to, to cruise with Crystal and it was, it was ah. breathtaking. Um, an experience like any other. This is six star, absolute luxury. Um, but without being stuffed, it was actually really nice and relaxed, but it was six star and it was impeccable. Um, we don't feature Crystal very often, but when we do, we have got an amazing deal and we have got an incredible deal on this tonight. We, uh, we're both very impressed, aren't we, Justin, with this one? It's amazing. I, th I think, look, we, we, we've got to point this out. When we say about a deal, I mean, I mean, you know, this, it's not bargain basement. It's no, not no, sale. No, but the price for... The price that we've got this at is such Just, an opportunity yeah, yeah. and that's the key thing because a lot of people within the cruise industry if you ask them which cruise line would you love to cruise with yeah, and aspire to cruise with they're like i'd love to go on a crystal ship yeah yeah and so one of the reasons i mean the quality you have on board so you know when we say about concierge you check into a hotel if you check into a good four star or five star hotel you'll have a concierge you know they usually have that little um little badge, the little golden yeah. keys. We're just having a look here, actually. Well, I'll, I'll tell you about the golden right. keys later. Look at the restaurants I mean, that we've got on board. And she's been reimagined yeah. since you've been on board. And she's even more stunning. Yeah, only a 1,000 passengers. Um, the first and the last night's a black tie optional. Um, and the rest of the eight days, it's just... Gosh, she really, yeah, you? she is even more beautiful yeah. than, than when I was on board. The oh, venues that you've got, they are just great quality. No gimmicks that you see sometimes on other cruise lines. We are just talking quality. The Supper Club, you've got Silk Kitchen and Bar. I mean, the Penthouse Suites are just to die for. One of the things that I'm really excited about, if you've ever heard of the restaurant chain, Nobu, then they've got the only Nobu at sea on board Crystal and, ships. And when you think what you've paid to dine at a Nobu restaurant, and that yeah. is included here. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's, you know, Crystal is a different league, honestly. Um, absolutely beautiful ships, but everything is first class, isn't it? Yeah, everything. and I, I've got to point out, guests to, to staff ratio, one to 1 1.6 staff members. Oh, my word. Quite, quite literally. And on top of that as well, as I said, the concierge that's on board is part of the Austrian uh, chain of concierges. So the, 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 the golden keys, I don't know whether I'm going to pronounce this right, but it's Le Clador, which, which translates into the golden keys. And if you take America, I mean, think about hospitality in America. It's around 20,000 different concierges. Only 560 of them are actually members of Le Clador and, and this particular lineage. So they have that sort of quality on board for their concierge. Wow. 
again, the golden keys. It's the person that knows everybody in port that can pick up the phone. Yes, sir, that's no problem. Your reservation is ready. Oh. Now, this could be an opportunity of a lifetime. It, no, no, it is. Oh, it is, yeah. So I cruise with Crystal just the one time. I'd love to go back. And actually, this is one of the most affordable Crystal cruises we've ever seen. But we're going to uh, give you a little taste also of the wonderful places that you're going to visit. Um, this is going to be stunning, isn't it? And, you know, there was one of the guests actually in the in the, the green room earlier on. She was asking me about, you know, where, where should I go in August? I was like, if you've got the available yeah. at the end of August, let me just give you the highlight. First of all, starting in Rome, the port of Civitavecchia. And, I mean, to be able to literally start your cruise in such a, a fantastic port is great. But then you have got your first proper day, uh, which is Saint, Santa Margherita. And this is a great port. If you want to go to Portofino, about 45 minutes away, just absolutely stunning. But look at oh. the, the actual port itself. Then, we've just talked about it briefly. Yeah, it is the jewel of the crown. It is the Provence. That it is um, Monte Carlo. You can pop into Monte Carlo, and I'm telling you now, to go in there, to go down to Princess Grace Gardens, to walk around the harbour, um, you know, to go to the casino square and sit in, um, the cafe there, cafe rouge, cafe rouge, <laughs> <laughs> as you do. Um, but just to see the cars, yeah. it is just phenomenal. Um, where do you go from Monte Carlo? Should we pop down the coast and go to Saint Tropez? Should we realise it costs five thousand euros a day to moor a yacht here, but it's booked out for the next two years. Really? Yeah. God. And it's all down to Bridget Bardot. Bridget God. Bardot basically went there, put her bikini on, and shot a film, and the place just exploded. All the celebrities wanted to go down there. It is just absolutely stunning. Really, really stunning. Um, that's such a, I was thinking of taking my yacht down there as well, just about. I, I have to wait two years. Yeah, I shame. know. You just think it's, yeah. There you go. But um, <laughs> but do you really, do you know how Saint Tropez actually got its name? Well, yeah. if you, one of Nero's centurions. Um, I think his name was Torpes. Um, he refused a particular command and was beheaded in Pisa. And his body and head were placed into a boat along with a dog and a rooster. Okay? And the animals were supposed to eat his body and conceal the crime. Okay? All hush hush disappeared. Right? But then the dog watched over the body and it washed ashore in Saint Tropez. And now, do you realise? So, so, so Torpes became Tropez. Now, dogs are held in such high esteem that they're allowed into restaurants. You go anywhere, like the dog is just like the most respected thing in Saint Tropez. I absolutely love it. God. Yeah, there you go. See, you learn something every day. I just never know whether to believe just or not. <laughs> such a tragic, I know, but it's such a tragic story. It is. You know, you go, I'm like, really? really? Yeah. But I love dogs. Oh, there you go. Same anyway, way. see, my dog, my dog will watch over me. Um, should we go to Corsica? I'd love to. Let's, let's go to somewhere less dramatic with less sort of history of death and destruction. Let's go to the birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. No, to be fair, the, the history here is fantastic. And I always remember going into, it's almost like an old apothecary. You know, the old chemists with beautiful yeah. dark wood. You could go in there and it was like, um, it wasn't a chemist, but you'd like this because it was full of amazing liquors and aperitifs, stuff that you, re you, you really wouldn't be able to get anywhere, anywhere else. You know, sort of pear liquors yeah. and mandarin liquors. Yeah, that sounds my, yeah. It's absolutely. And if, if you love walking, uh, there's some great forest walking trails. Um, so uh, definitely get that one booked up. Then we're off to Florence and Pisa, for, uh, which is the port of Livorno. And um, again, I'd recommend booking uh, a, a excursion here just, just for the, the ease of use. We can do that for you, uh, so give us a call. Um, and then we're into our final port of call, Porto Venere. And this is just, well, I mean, just around by the marina, it's absolutely stunning. You've got um, street sellers that sell fruits and beach products and all the lovely little trinkets. But then head up into Castello Doria, which was actually built in the 16th century. It was actually to protect the locals from uh, the sea. If there was a really bad uh, swell in the ocean, they used to head to the castle and it used to protect them. Uh, there's also the San Pietro Church as well, which is 6th century. Um, so uh, there's some fantastic relics in there as well. So plenty to see and do. And that really wrapped up. I mean, seven nights. Have you oh. seen there? Rome, Florence, Pisa, Monte Carlo, Saint Tropez. I'd like to see the ship again, wouldn't you? Or Serenity. Because I mean, honestly, I mean, I mean, she she was beautiful when I was on board a few years ago. But she has been totally refreshed now. You can see the standard 
but you'll get with Crystal. You know, she is a different league. Um, as just mentioned, so do you say 1.6 to 1? The yeah, ratio? 1 to 1. 1.6. Wow. Yeah. Guess to, uh, you know, so staff to guess ratio. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the highest ever in the yeah. industry. Uh, and, and Crystal, they do have the most incredible reputation. Um, we, we didn't even talk about Nobu. Uh, no, well, so you do have get. Have got time to talk about well, you we do, do got to, Prego got, you get included, don't you? A night at Prego. All the speciality restaurants you get included. But if you want to go back there again, there is a small surcharge. I think it's $30. $30 to go to a Nobu restaurant. Wow. And, and we're, we're talking, uh, you know, one of the most renowned sushi and or, or Japanese Peruvian um, uh, uh, restaurant chains in the world. I mean, Robert De Niro went to the original restaurant God. over in L.A. and said, I want, to, I want you to open one. In New York, and it took him four years to persuade the, the chef to do it. Mm. So you will get that included in your cruise, don't forget. So it is six star, uh, all inclusive. So that's obviously um, everything like gratuities, Wi Fi, but the most incredible selection of drinks, of course, as well. Um, the promise of the crystal confidence guarantee, um, and we promise you will have an experience of a lifetime. Now, we're going to give you a few book tonight. Uh, if you book this cruise, we'll give you an exclusive, and that is a free Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolate gift as well. And we're just talking about the speciality restaurants. Yeah. You get complimentary um, an evening there, uh, dining in Prego, which is outstanding. But you also get to dine at least once in Nobu's, as we mentioned. Yeah, Nobu Yuki Matsuisha's restaurant. This is the only one at sea. It is just a legendary chain, and, and just now the next line is really important. Oh, so I just want to explain yeah. this. If you book a veranda tonight. Uh, or above, you can choose between free flights. Now, when we say free flights, flights are included in the prices. Um, so they're already packaged in, but if you choose free flights, you, then you would get the value of the flights back, whatever those would cost. Or you could choose $1,000 on board spend per stateroom. That's for a veranda or above. That's one of the biggest spends we've ever seen, isn't it? $1,000. Yeah. I do, do have to point out that $1,000, not up to $1,000. No, $1, that's $1, what you'll get dollars. for a veranda. Yeah, yeah $1,000 if you put the veranda. Uh, and return flights based on London. That, phew, six stars. I know. Nobu restaurants, $1,000. Oh. So oh, all man. I'll say is, um, I'd love you to, to learn more about this. Give us a call yeah. and our cruise specialist will talk you through. But that is a that's a cruise of a lifetime that you will never ever forget. Anyway, we've got so we've got a bit of cruise news, haven't we? Cruise just news. In. Now I, I gonna... do you know I only found out about this just before the show and I went, you're you're kidding me. Tui are launching two river cruises, two river cruises in 2020. I will be booking. And we've got a price there for seven nights starting as little as 1099 Um and that's, um, they've acquired 355 passenger vessels. And they're going to be sailing some great seven night itineraries there, aren't they? Yeah. River is one of the biggest expanding markets at the I moment. I know. It has been for the last 18 months. And that is and massive news for such a big player in yeah. the market. Um, and look, look, for those of you that love Tui, you know, you know the brand, we're talking about well, I'm a big fan now. Yeah. Thompson, yeah. Morella. It just, it really is a great opportunity. And, also, and they're going to be adults only, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And other cruise news. <sighs> You're loving this. A new celebrity ship. Not the first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, but the fifth Edge class ship has been ordered by Celebrity Cruises. Wow. And I'm, uh, I'm going to be experiencing the Edge in a few weeks' time as it happens, so I cannot wait. Let me know what it's like on the Edge. <laughs> I will. <laughs> You're always on the Edge, Justin. <laughs> I'm so far on the edge that I'm actually down at the bottom looking up going, <laughs> I am on the edge. Uh, yeah, is that you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's some, some great cruise news there. Uh, now, talking of celebrity, I, well, we both agree yep. that the offer we've got right now on the, the silhouette, what on a the, oh, solstice, yeah, one solstice of my class ships are just classic celebrity territory. Have you seen they? that price again, though? Well, like, no. Yeah, for 16 nights. Shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. 60 nights, £1,149. I really think prices are great at the moment with cruises, but that is, that you'll agree, if you're regular, that is incredible. Yeah. And it's a very rare repositioning cruise. We hardly ever get them in celebrity. Go on, just to what we're saying. With, with the ability to add on little stays at the end, which I'll tell you more about yes. later, but I've just seen free, free classic drinks package. Gratuities of two hundred dollars on board spend per stateroom on Ocean yeah. View and above, yeah. and free upgrade from Ocean View to balcony. Yep. 
I know. Enough said. You can imagine. Shall I have a look, look at, at this one. Yeah, let's take you on board. Let's do it. This is absolutely classic celebrity territory. This is what you love about the brand, about mm. that modern luxury, about those, uh, you know, classic amenities that are just done so well. And bear in mind, famous for their half acre of genuine lawn grass on the, the, the rear of their top deck, known for their entertainment, known for their wine collections at sea. And, you know, the restaurants like Murano, Tuscan Grill, Cuisine, and of course, award-winning Canyon Ranch Bar. I mean, I've, I've been very lucky. I've cruised Celebrity eight times, uh, cruising again with them in a few weeks. Um, it doesn't get finer and better. Five-star modern luxury at its very, very best. Everything that Celebrity do is is is, is with excellence. Um, and I, you know, I love the ships, but the food, the service, entertainment, every aspect is yeah. you know, as close to perfection as you can ever imagine. Um, yeah. And uh, and say. When you look at the price on this, it's just ridiculous for 60 nights for celebrity, isn't it? Yeah. And then the itinerary on this, we're talking, it's really quite unusual, isn't it? Okay, for, for, for those of you that, that aren't cruisers, I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight. This is what they call a repositioning cruise, okay? Now, within the industry, you, you, you know this now, I mean, you have been here for 11 years, so you probably know. Repositioning cruises, the cruise lines usually offer a good price because it's usually going from one part of the, the world to, to quite a yeah. dramatic part of the world, and there's a lot of sea days in between. But if you really love sea days and you've got a fantastic ship, Shit, that is yeah, brilliant news. Yeah. But wait for it. There's one way which is far by far the best way to go on a repositioning cruise. I'm so with you And on that's this. going from east to west yeah. because you gain an hour every night. So you go to bed at 1, you're going to bed at 12. You're going to bed at 2, you're going to bed at 1. And that's each night as you yeah. go across the Atlantic. But also with this, it's going to get warmer as you and going to get better cruise. because yeah. you're going to, and also the ports that you're going to go I to. I mean, they're, so they're, it, they're not shrinking violets, are they? It's a really good one. This so uh, out of Southampton to start with, nice and easy, and this is an amazing ship from an amazing company. So you are going to have six days at sea and just enjoy the ship. Whoa. I'm just, I'm just going to let you into a little secret. The director and the producer are asking me to go straight into the first port of call, but hang on. Oh, no, let's, Six days at sea. Well, let's enjoy day the one. Ship. Day one, we need to do... What do we need to do on day one? Uh, so we need to try um, Martini Bar. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Day two, Cuisine. Could do. Could book Cuisine yeah. for day two. Day three, Tuscan Grill. Sounds good. Day might four. You, might go back to Cuisine. It was right. so good. Yeah. Murano. <laughs> As you did. But now there's so much yeah. to do while you're at those six days at sea before you hit that first yeah. port of call. And it is the cradle of American independence. We are talking about Boston, baby. Um, some amazing so shopping I've never, I've never, never been. been. That's on my list. What an amazing city. They're, they're, what they, it was, I can't remember the name of the, uh, the mayor, but they basically took old, worn-down warehouses that were going to be just, just knocked down. And they went, right, come on. Let's get something in there. Let's get it vibrant. And they put market, food markets in there. They put shopping malls, bars. And effectively, they got all of the, the office workers to stay later, and it created this great buzz. That's what Boston's wow. all about. And apart from the fact that you've got one of the most historic uh, cities in American history. It's perfect. Uh, but uh, <laughs> where next? Uh, How about? We've only got 20 minutes left on the show, and we're going to go to New York. We are going to go to New York. And actually, oh, we're going to stay there overnight, aren't we? Yeah, you've got to go see Joe's Pizza down in Greenwich Village, just for the best slice of pizza in the world. You've got Manhattan, you've got Central Park, you've got Fifth Avenue, you've got the Empire State <gasps> Building. God, I'm just thinking Central Park at this time of year would yeah. be a beautiful one. Get up so. early to, to cruise in past the Statue of Liberty. You don't have to go there then. Also, don't go at the Empire State Building because you can't look at it then. Go to Rockefeller, and then you can see the Empire State Building. Go to Brooklyn Bridge, you know? It's just, oh, it's amazing. There's just so much you can see and do in New York. I could give you a whole show on it but anyway. But you are there overnight, don't yes. forget, on board. Yes. Then you've got a, a day at sea. Where next, Justin? We're off to Bermuda. We're off to King's Wharf. Wow. Now, this is the Royal Naval Dockyard, and you're overnight on board. You've got the Commissioner's House. You've got Dolphin Quest there. You've got Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, which is the oldest cast iron lighthouse in the world. There you go. Um, also, you've got Somerset Bridge, which is the world's smallest drawbridge in the world. Um, then on relaxing day at sea, we're off to, to um, Nassau. Um, fancy hitting the beaches, go to Atlantis Resort there, go to the Ocean Club, pretend you're Daniel Craig coming out of the ocean, you're budgie smugglers. <laughs> um, that's a scary thought when you're thinking about me, but there you go. Actually, four James Bond films were actually filmed on Nassau. 
So there you go. Um, and then you're back to Fort Lauderdale. It's just an go. awesome opportunity to do one of the most, well, great itinerary. And the fact that you've got that with celebrity is just phenomenal. Uh, one of the best offers ever, ever. So let's just show you what's included. So a free classic drinks package. So you get the classic drinks package there on Ocean View and above. Now also free gratuities and $200 on board spend. That's on Ocean View and above. So it really is worth upgrading to Ocean View or Balcony. Uh, talking of which, actually, if you go for Ocean View, you get a free upgrade to Balcony as well. Yep. And you can add on uh, hotel stays. We can arrange these with you from the next time in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, even New Orleans, and just call for details. And return flights from London Gatwick. And then uh, the classic uh, drinks package. Sound like I've had it, don't I? Um, so that's one of my, well, it, for me, it's one of the best drinks packages at sea. All of your specialty teas, coffees, which I love on the morning. Oh, I love a coffee. Uh, oh, I do. I'm even too. Uh, your bottled water, non alcoholic uh, cocktails there. All of your selected beers, spits, wines, and cocktails. So a huge range included if you upgrade there to Ocean View and above. Um, so that's really good. Very good, actually. Um, Where can and we a go? Bit different. I mean, we've had Six Star, we've had Fred Olsen, and, and, and just it keeps on. Why don't we go to one of the best selling cruise lines and the best selling cruises that we've had over the last six months? Yeah. Well, I know, I know who you're talking about now. It's going to be Celestial. There you go. Yeah. And, and actually, the best way of seeing the uh, Greek islands, of course. Mm. Uh, so, let's just have a little look and talk you through. Um, now, Celestial offer great, great value. They offer, first of all, it's all inclusive. But they will also include free shore excursions. You get three of those. Now, you went on board, didn't you? Just yeah. Then? yeah. I wasn't on board at the same time as Jane McDonald. Just have to point no, out. No, no. Just in case people think that we're one no, of the No, no, Jane avoided you, I hear. But, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> that picture, that was actually taken by me. I was on the quayside that day. Go. Uh, no, it's absolutely, it's not celestial ships. If you want to see the Greek islands, why not go to a specialist that specialises in Greek islands? and Celestial award-winning. They're in fact so good that they actually train staff for other cruise lines. God. That gives you some sort of an idea. They're lovely, small, more intimate ships. Um, you know, we've done, we've, we've done high-end luxury. This is just about quality and seeing these great sites. Um, you get free shore excursions in three of the ports, and we're talking three of the most the historic ones, ports. Yeah. yeah, so you definitely want to do uh, excursions there. There's some great single specials. So if you want to travel uh, abroad, go to the Greek Island, just don't do a Shirley Valentine. You've seen the film, haven't you? Oh, ages ago. Oh dear. It's old. What are you trying to say? 20, 20 odd years ago I saw that. <laughs> she stayed there, didn't she? Did she stay there? Did she run off? Should we get there? Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to go into this oh, sort of details. She did didn't she? Yeah. Yes, she got more than a Greek kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Behave. Anyway. Do you want to go to Mykonos? <laughs> go to see the windmills? Yeah, I do. Yes. That's farm on there, yeah. Yes. Well, this is overnight on board, and to be fair, Mykonos, lovely to see the sunset. It's just one of those places, just absolutely brilliant. Got a really good nightlife as well. Right. So if you do want to go out and treat it's, the light, fantastic. Yeah. It's one of my favourite, one of my favourite islands, that's beautiful. Exactly. Also appeared in the Bourne's, uh, Bourne Identity, or is it? Yeah, I think it was. Anyway. It likes his to, films, to, to, it? to Milos. This is the Island of Colours, due to the beach's volcanic origins. Um, also, this is actually home to the centrepiece of the Louvre in Paris, which is the Venus de Milio. So, you know, the statue without the arms. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, uh, classic. Um, there's also, uh, you know, great, 70 beaches, actually, on the island, so that, that goes to show you. Then we're off to Santorini. Now, this is fabled. This is on a volcanic... Um, a, a dormant volcanic uh, crater, and this is just just picture postcard, absolutely brilliant. Not many cruise ships can stay in overnight, in fact, hardly any, and you can't actually book to stay here overnight unless you book for a minimum three of days, two, two or three yeah. days. Yeah. So great that you're going to go in there, have that overnight, ask the actual people on board the ship the best places to go for the sunset. That's all I'm saying. Then we're off to Crete, and this is where you get your first of your free shore excursions. So you're going to get a chance to go to Heraklion and see the 4,000-year-old Minoan ruins as well. Um, then we're off to uh, Kusadasi and Ephesus. So again, another tour included. This is an incredible place. You've got uh, certain relics uh, and sites like the House of Virgin Mary, the Basilica of St. John, the terraced houses. Got to go and see that. That wraps up, and then you're going to be going back to Athens to disembark the ship 
uh, and that wraps up seven days around uh, the Greek islands. Now, whenever we feature Celestial, they, they are top sellers. Um, let's just show you, again, some of the uh, great <coughs> things you can do on board this fabulous ship. So, we are talking about, say, a, a really kind of friendly ship, a real specialist in the Greek islands, of course, as well. And everything is included, don't forget. So that's all your drinks, all Food's your food. Food's phenomenal. Yeah, you were saying, yeah. Oh, we, we went you on board for, just for, for, just for lunch, the day. Didn't you? Yeah. Just the day for lunch, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Yes. Uh, so, everything's included, don't forget. Have a quick look at this at home. Uh, we're talking about all inclusive. That's your tips, your drinks your food, free shore excursions. I mean, again, they can be very pricey often on a cruise, but you've got three big, big shore excursions included. Great single prices. And if you are at one of our uh, solo ladies and gents, do book those as soon as you can, because they do sell uh, the fastest normally. And return flights based on London Gatwick as well. Price-wise, I mentioned how good the single prices are, but you can see there the inside to outside, uh, just a tiny bit more for that. A lot of the junior suites have already sold out on this one, so very limited uh, availability on those. And the singles are really good. You know, yeah. you're looking at just a couple of hundred pounds more on most of those dates, aren't Exactly, they? and they're not for single cabins. They're actually No, for... they're actually, yeah, double occupancy pack, um, cabins, yeah. but just, uh, say, solo occupancy. So really good value on the singles there as well. And the dates there, I mean, you're going to get great temperatures for pretty much all of that, aren't you? So I'm going yeah. to tell you a little secret. You know, you know, I don't do holidays because I've travelled a lot, and the places that I do go back to are really good. I'm going back to Rhodes again this year. Are you? So mm. you go, you go. going back to Greece, it's just yeah, gotta love it. Uh, oh, by the way, the drinks package. How can I forget? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so there you go, and it's a great drinks package. So, uh, selected spirits, beers, cocktails, uh, Greek flavoured ouzo cocktails, of course. Your non-alcoholic cocktails and a wide range of hot beverages as well. And please, again, on, on that drinks package, bear in mind they are named brands as well. Yes, they so, are, yeah. Yeah, yeah, got to point that out. Anyway... And uh, your excursions are included as well in that amazing price. Yeah. And they're all the, they're all the, um, so the big excursions, aren't oh, they? Oh, you've got to go on a tour in Santorini and, yeah. and Kuzidassi as well. And Kuzidassi, the only way to see it is early. And this is one of the great things about uh, Celestial is they know the ports and they know what yeah. customers need. If you go there past 11 o'clock, it's going to be so hot and so busy. Get there nice and early and you can have a wander around the ruins and enjoy it. So, so amazing value, always top sellers. If you'd like to book tonight, 0808 250 2662. But uh, you were saying earlier that River Cruises, they've become massive now, haven't they? Yeah, and, yeah. and one of the leading brands in that has got to be Viking. Of course. It's the name everyone thinks of, actually, isn't it, when it comes to River Cruises? When, when it was River Cruises, yeah. yeah. One of the most yeah. recognisable. Yeah. And that's why tonight, at the price that we've actually got and what it's including, and if you've ever wanted to travel this part of the world, it is absolutely think, stunning. The Danube. I, I, well, I've yet to do a river cruise, but when I do, this will be, yeah. Yeah, this will be the item I want to do. So um, let's, uh, let's give you a little taster and take you on the waters. Now, uh, again, amazing standards with Viking. Yeah. Incredible. Because when you think of a river cruise ship, you don't think of a ship that's got an atrium and a bar that is stylish and no. is modern as like this. this. Look, that is an atrium yeah. I mean. on board a river cruise ship. There's only 188 guests. So that gives you some sort of an idea. It's not overcrowded. It's no. not going to take hours to get on and off, off the ship. And quite literally, you are docking on the quayside, stepping off into history. I've always said this, if you love city breaks, then you will love a river cruise. The cuisine is superb. The whole atmosphere is just relaxed because sometimes you're cruising in the morning, then you dock in the afternoon, you'll get off, have a wander around, you'll have time in the evening. Again, look at the balconies, depending on which um, on deck, which deck you go for, all, all of the actual uh, cabins have got a, uh, a sea view or a river, river view, view, should we say. Uh, but certain um, levels, then you've got balconies oh, as well. Looks so. wonderful. And again, I look at that price, and, and you would not expect yeah. that. Uh, so upper and middle deck staterooms have got the French balcony. Oh, very nice. Um, well, let's uh, have a little look at some of these great places you're going to see. And, uh, what you're going to do. Yeah. As well. Yeah. That's the, that's the key. Because with a river cruise, it's not just about just kicking back and, and laying out on the deck. You're going to go and yeah. see some great stuff. And that first day, that first port of call in Passau, when you join... You're going to get a chance to board, spend free time exploring, or join what they call the welcome walk. 
so you can stretch your legs, get orientated. Uh, bear in mind, this is the city on three rivers. So you, you literally situate at the confluence of the Danube, the Ilts, and the Inn rivers. Um, you've got the Baroque Cathedral, St. Stephen's there, that you can go and see with a beautiful interior. They've actually got, I, I, I do believe it's considered to be Europe's largest organ, uh, pipe organ, as in 17,000 pipes inside of this, this one fantastic instrument. Um, and in the afternoon, you've got free time to explore the actual town itself. Then we're off to Linz. Now, this is an all-day excursion to the beautiful Bohemian town, um, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You get a chance to go through the countryside, take a walking tour, which features all of the historic buildings, beautiful Baroque and Renaissance buildings as well, dating back hundreds of years. But there's also free time to enjoy the charming streets. I mean, the cafes, the shops, the galleries, the pubs, local restaurants, it's absolutely superb. You're actually returning to the ship on board for dinner and a late evening departure. So again, you get a chance to enjoy the port uh, in a different feel. Then from Linz, we're off to Krems. Um, and you're actually sailing in the morning and you're going through what they call the Wachau Valley, which is the, the, the winemaking region, um, and then arrive in the actual port itself. You get lunch on board and depart the ship to go to see the Benedictine Abbey. Uh, and this dates back 900 years. It's absolutely stunning. You get a chance to visit a local vineyard as well. Got your attention now, I? <laughs> for a little bit of a wine tasting, a little bit of vino, come Ooh. back with the red teeth. Um, no, you're supposed to spit. Um, dinner served on board. Um, and then you sail down the river, where are we stopping next? Vienna, Vienna. the capital of Austria. Oh, do, you know what I, I'm, do you know what I've got a little bit of a craving for at the moment? Sucker tort. It is an Austrian delicacy, it's like a chocolate cake, but, but the, the, actual, the, the actual chocolate's so sticky, it does stick to your teeth. Oh. Sucker torta. It's just, oh, just beautiful. Anyway, you get a chance to ride along the Ringstrauss, uh, you get a chance to uh, see the city walls, the Brock architecture of the Opera House, St. Stephen's Cathedral, the Hofburg Palace, and then you return back to the ship for your lunch. The rest of the day is yours to explore. So if you did want to do more, there's a program director on board who can actually help you plan your free time. I would say there's an optional tour to the Schubrunn Palace. And this, they call it the Versailles of Vienna, and it is absolutely stunning. In the evening, you can relax or enjoy an optional concert, which is a classical uh, recital. It's nice. Then we're off to Bratislava, which is your final, oh, sorry, penultimate port of call. And this time you're going to be doing another walking tour in the morning. You get a chance to see the national capital, uh, which only borders two other countries. Can you name them? Uh, We've just been to one, Austria. Yeah, Austria. And we're about to go to the next one. Hungary. Oh, Hungary, of course. Yeah, we're going to Budapest, because we're we? going to go to yeah, Budapest. Of course. And, you know, my house in Budapest. Um, it's just a, a beautiful, not my house. Oh, that's my singing. I was just referring I, to the George Ezra song. Do you realise? Do you realise when he actually wrote that song? You know that song, My House in Budapest. Can't sing anymore because of copyright. Um, but you know the one. Um, he'd never been to Budapest before he'd written it. He was actually due to go there. No. And he ended up meeting some some people and staying out and missed the train the next morning and he never got to never got together so he just wrote about it. But the the, the, the river's absolutely beautiful. You've got the, the um, oh, I forget the name of the building now, um, but absolutely stunning. One of the best places. I'm looking forward to going back there this year. That's and again. Darling, I, I do think for river cruise, Jewish it, quarters it, good do, down there as well. Doesn't get better than that though when you look. Yeah. Wow. Um, now in terms of of what's included, uh, an awful lot actually. We're going to give an exclusive tax of £100 on board spend per cabin as well. That is exclusive to Planet Cruise tonight. You also get drinks with your meals there and all excursions and gratuities as well. Wow. Uh, return flights, uh, UK flights as well, and regional flights are available. And this again, these are going to go fast at no extra cost. Now that is subject to availability. So. I would book this one tonight if you can, because we're giving you that £100 exclusive. Regional flights at no extra cost, and we've got a deposit from just a pound per person, and up to, depending on obviously which grade of cabin you book, up to £150 worth of MS vouchers per cabin. That is amazing, actually, isn't it? it no, it is. Yeah. It is. Especially for that brand as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, and price wise, uh, we've actually got some great dates. Uh, all for next year, uh, they're starting at uh, the end of March, right the way through to the end of October. Singles do go very, very fast, and we've got some, uh, some great single prices there. 
If you can afford it, I would upgrade to the French Falcon, wouldn't you, if, yeah. you could, if you could go for it. And I've just got to point out, you know, we've had a great variation of different um, styles of cruising. You know, people look at a river cruise like this and they go, well, it's a little bit more expensive, but there's so much more yeah. included. So, you yeah. know, you do get to go and see these places and really get looked after and shown around. <sighs> anyway, we are, we're nearly out of time. Uh, God, I always love this show. I'm always planning my cruises. I'm sure you are. Uh, but let's recap everything that we've seen tonight. And we started with, of course, Fred Olsen, uh, this great seven-night uh, waterways of Holland and Belgium from Dover there. Uh, you get up to 200 euros on shore spent. You spend that on shore. Uh, overnight on board there in uh, Amsterdam, Antwerp. And tips included on the 18th of May, 220 departure date as well. And the price there starts as a little as 679. There was Morella, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, oh. you've just come back after saying it from there. And this itinerary, Morella, Thompson in the know. Far East. This is absolutely superb. This is an all inclusive cruise, easy for me to say. It's adult only, and just look at the ports that you're going to. You're going out to Thailand, you're going out to Malaysia, you're going to Singapore, Langkawi. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, it really doesn't get much better than this. Uh, the value works out, you know, just under £18 a week there. You've got, say, everything included. It's adults only as well. And you even get a choice of flights from London or Birmingham there. And you can do Manchester for just a supplement departing a day later. Then uh, a wonderful six-star cruise with Crystal on board the Serenity. And it does not get finer than this. It does yeah. not get higher than this, does it? What an opportunity. Six-star this is just beautiful. A thousand dollars on board spend on veranda <laughs> and above. above. And again, you're getting those complimentary specialty dining restaurants, including yeah. Nobu. And again, if you book tonight, you will even get a free Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolate gift. But you know, if you are interested, just give us a call and we will tell you more. Our cruise experts will tell you more. Then we have uh, an outstanding offer from Celebrity. I, I'm a big fan, as you know, but. A, a repositioning cruise that we've, we've, you know, that we've never seen this before. Boston, uh, Broadway, and Bermuda from Southampton, mm. and the price as little as one one four nine. If you go for an ocean view, you get an upgrade to a balcony. Then you get all your drinks, and uh, so you'll even get. Uh, free gratuities and two hundred dollars on board spend yeah. if you go for ocean view and above. And a Amazing. great opportunity as well if you're travelling over there. Look at where you can go to Miami, New Orleans. Calls yeah. for details. And then we had uh, always a top seller, Celestial, didn't we? Yep, seven nights, all inclusive. Greek islands, three days where you get free shore excursions included and great single specials as well. Uh, give us a shout because that one's going to go quickly. Yeah. And then finally, last but by no means least, we had. Well, the most popular river cruise uh, yeah. that we ever do uh, in terms of the destinations, uh, where you're going to see and stay, but also with Viking. Uh, and this is an end that everyone thinks about, isn't it? River cruising and quality. We, we just haven't got the time to go through no. this and give it justice. So give us a call and ask yeah. more details. We, uh, we sadly out of time. Justin, lovely to have you back. Yes. And you're actually back next week, oh, aren't you? I'll see you next week. Yeah, don't good, worry. I'll yeah. make up for it. I don't leave it so long. <laughs> Absolutely. Great to have you back. So, it's like, um, so I hope. You've seen something you like tonight. If not, don't forget, we can book you any cruise on our website. So give us a call right now. We'll see you next Tuesday with Planet. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right-hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.